welcome back to my channel today I have a new video for you guys it won't be a haul it won't be any of that it's a are you ready for it Layla got weaned finally I can't believe it but it actually happened so I'm gonna tell you the story of how it happened it's gonna be a little story time I've done story times before but I haven't done one recently I've only done them like when I first started my channel so there she is she's like let me see if I can show so I let's go back to like way back when she was a year and a half old um, I tried to wean her I did it for like a day or like a night I wouldn't breastfeed her at all and um, she just wasn't having it like in the morning she was fine with it and if you guys don't know Layla doesn't like to eat so she never ate when she was younger she would barely like take a bite and then spit the food out or not even eat it at all or just play with it so keep that in mind so when she was a year and a half old I decided to try so she was okay in the morning up until when it was like time to sleep that's when she just started crying a whole lot and I was all like well I really want to sleep and I don't think she's gonna go to sleep I don't think she's gonna stop crying so this seems way too hard and I don't think I'm all about it so let's just try a different time and I gave in and I breastfed her so then it was um like around Ramadan which was in June so I was thinking about like trying to wean her off again like giving it a try again she was 20 months at the time and this is when it actually happened I took told my mom like okay I'm gonna go work as you guys know I deliver food so sometimes I take like that sometimes I don't but for Ramadan it's too hot and I'm not eating I'm fasting so I was all like I'm just gonna leave her home with you every day and I will not breastfeed her and we're gonna give it a try and see what's gonna go on or what's gonna happen so we started on the first day of Ramadan it was June 3rd so she was around the 20 month old range because it was still 10 days earlier but you guys know so she was three months old um it went well the first day she didn't cry she um she would wake up in the middle of the night though because she was hungry and cry but i would just rock her and she would fall back asleep pretty easily so the first two or three nights were just hard in that sense but they weren't even hard it was way easier than I thought. Most people say that, oh, the kids cry, they just won't sleep, and that's what happened the first time when she was, a, um, I always keep saying a month, when she was a year and six months, a year and a half old. That's what happened. I was like, no, this is exactly how people describe it, but when I tried it again, when she was 20 months old, it was way easier. I think she was actually ready for it, and she was, you know wanting to actually eat now. She was actually eating a little bit better. She was eating like yogurt, cheese, very little, but she was actually giving things a try. So I think that also helped. So I know that she loves junk food, so I just got her like her favorite junk foods and her favorite foods for the first like week or week and a half for her to eat. So anyways, the first night was pretty well. Um, she ate and she woke up around like 5 or 6 a.m. and she was hungry, so I just rocked her back to sleep. I know that sounds bad because you're supposed to wake up and feed her, but I didn't want her to um, like wake up every night and be used to waking up every night at 5 a.m. because she was hungry. So I wanted to, you know, let her sleep through the night and then once she wakes up, she can eat. Let her know that that's how it's supposed to be. And then she would wake up again like at 7 a.m. and again cry. She wouldn't cry, she would just whine. And sometimes I would get up and get her like a little snack to eat. Sometimes I would just rock her back to bed. We usually wake up around 11. And then finally at 11 she would wake up really, really hungry and she would eat. And that's how it went for the first three or four nights I would say. And then after that she would actually wake up at 11. She wouldn't wake up earlier than that. And she would eat right away so there she's here she's looking at herself she's got her clothes in her hand for some reason hey you've grown so much hi yeah say hi you've grown up so much since they last saw you 
It's almost your birthday, huh? Yeah, her birthday is in less than a week, so expect some birthday videos coming up soon. So anyways, you just got me off track right now. So, um, that's how I went for the first, pa 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 what am I saying, for the first three or four nights. After that, it was pretty easy. She would just wake up at 11 like we are used to and eat, and it was pretty good. Ramadan went and by, and I was like, wow, she's already been weaned for a whole month, and now we're in July. It's July the 6th or the 7th. I think it's the 7th, is it? I don't know. But it's July, so it's been two months, and I'm really proud of her. I'm proud of myself for actually staying this long and breastfeeding her for this long. It's not easy, but it's also not hard. But once the baby's ready, it will be way much easier for you guys, so... I'm very happy that I breastfed her until 20 months because if not, oh, Layla. Because if not, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have like a good immune system. She wouldn't be healthy. She would be always sick like all these children that I hear about that aren't being breastfed. So that's my own opinion. Everyone has their opinion. And I, I, I'm not like judging anyone, but that's my own opinion. So I'm happy. And now when she like whines, I'm like, oh, I wish I could just breastfeed her so she can stop crying or whining. But I'm still very, very proud of me and her and how far along we made it with breastfeeding. So we made it up until the 20 month mark. I first wanted to breastfeed her up until like a year, a year and a half. And then once I saw that she was like not wanting to eat anything, I was like, oh, I really want her to get like weaned I don't like this I want like my body back to myself but now that I look back at it I'm glad that I made it to a 20 month mark I'm proud of me and her so anyways that was my story now she eats but not that much like she's very skinny ever since we've been in America which is a year now she's been stuck at the 20 21 22 pound mark she hasn't gained anything probably only like two pounds because she was around 20 and now she's like 21 or 22 she just is in between that range 20 22 pounds so i don't know what to do about that but they're saying that she's not like underweight she's not unhealthy she's she's fine so she does not what are you doing Layla? come here Layla. i think she's opening up her mouth Layla. Anyway, she sometimes eats for breakfast, sometimes she doesn't, but now she loves opening the fridge. She will go to the fridge and like point at it and be like, eh, and I'll open it. And she'll just point out whatever she wants to eat and I'll take it out for her. And she helps me like scoop up the yogurt and put it in a smaller plate or pour the milk in the cup. At first she didn't like milk, but now she's getting used to it. She's been pointing at it lately, so she's been drinking it for like a week or so. She also likes a lot of junk food, so... I'm just trying to get her to eat more and be healthy. And for dinner, she usually eats. It's just breakfast that's really hard sometimes. And she's really picky too, so sometimes it's a little hard. But anyways, that's my story of how I weaned her. I didn't really say like a, a certain way of how I weaned her. Like Egyptians say to put like all these types of things on like your breast like ole vera or put like something red so they think it's bleeding and like all these different weird things but i didn't want to do any of that i didn't want to like feel that i'm like taking advantage of Layla or like harming her or making her like hate my being breastfed that's what they do in egypt so even my mom, she's like, just put something like black, just do something. I'm like, no, why would I do that to my daughter? Like, why would I scare her away from something that she likes? Just don't give it to her. That'll be like the best idea. So that's what I stuck with. Just don't give it to her. And I think that's what worked best for me and Layla. I guess everyone's different and that's my story. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in Layla's, suit, in Layla's birthday soon. And if you guys enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Can you say bye with me? Say bye! So you can drink milk first? Okay, go ahead. Say bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye!
Oh, you she looks cute. Bye. Bye. <laughs>